Let's go to our big international story today as we look there live at St. James's Palace in London and in particular inside the Chapel Royal. That's a live location. You can see the people, you can see the guards standing by, top security, because this is a very big day. The christening of Prince George, third in line to the British throne. That's the live image. A bit of a departure, because these are often held at Buckingham Palace. But we want to show you what's been happening leading up to those live pictures. People have been in place since this morning. Look at that. Cards, cakes. They're all hoping for a good spot. Plenty of Union Jacks. They're hoping, too, to catch a glimpse of the royal family. The main attraction there, his name is right there, Prince George. Congratulations on your day. Proud Duke and Duchess representing, I believe that was Cambridge there. They travel from afar. Anne McMillan is right in the midst of that throng, right on top of the story for us this morning and live outside the palace. So uh, let's check in for the second time, Anne, what's happening as, uh, well, I guess about three hours now from the beginning of the ceremony. More and more people arriving, Heather, all the time. Just about as many uh, media as uh, onlookers at the moment, but um, I'm sure the crowds will come because it's a big day. And it's an interesting choice, the Chapel Royal at St. James's Palace behind me, because as you mentioned, most heirs to the throne, in fact, all of them this century, have been uh, christened at, and last century, at, uh, at Buckingham Palace. So um, Prince George will be here. He will be christened by the Archbishop of Canterbury in a 45-minute service. Uh, William and Kate have made it clear that they chose this venue because it has sentimental attachments. Um, Prince William and Harry were, were, uh, were confirmed here when they were teenagers. Uh, their, the body of their mother, Diana, lay in the chapel uh, before she uh, had the service at um, Westminster Abbey before she was buried. So a lot of emotional attachment and a sign that the royal couple want to do things their way, Heather. And uh, mentioning Diana, we talked so often during the royal wedding about uh, the ties to Diana, the echoes to Prince William's mother, and uh, those were reflected not just in the choice of the Chapel Royal, but also in the godparents who were named just uh, an hour or so ago. That's right. Uh, seven godparents, four men, uh, two women, uh, three women, excuse me. Um, yes, connection with Princess Diana, one of her oldest friends, Julia Samuel, has been named godmother. Boyhood friends of Williams, uh, who were, uh, their parents were very good friends of Princess Diana and Char Prince Charles, have been named. And also, probably most interestingly for us, Prince, uh, uh, Princess Anne's daughter, Zara Tyndall, uh, formerly Zara Phillips. She is going to be a godmother, Heather. Oh, Princess Anne happens to be here in London, uh, in Canada, as a matter of fact, Anne. So a tie-in to us. Thank you, Anne McMillan, right in the thick of things. And again, live pictures outside St. James's Palace. It's the Archbishop of Canterbury who will preside over the communion. Begins at 10 o'clock Eastern. We'll have full coverage here on CBC News Network. And, of course, on our program, lots more to come.